so it's been a long time since I made a video. I thought it was a good opportunity because Hydrain released the Hydrane 3.0. As you might know, I did a previous review video because you know it was my first initial impressions. I will always look for something like the Hydrain, this is the Hydrain 2.0, to make my life easier. I used to have a compressed system, you know, air, air everywhere, air pipes everywhere. Now I just operate from this. But I asked Hydrain to send me a reviewed unit from the Air Blaster 3.0 that recently came out. They were happy with the idea because my video got 20k views, which is quite a lot for such a small channel. That was a real life experience. I did pay for that myself. This one, however, is a review unit. I did ask them to send me this because I feel like they would benefit from it. And I like the Hydrain, genuinely like the Hydrain uh, 2.0 anyway. It's completely replaced my compressor system. This combined with this, it's completely replaced the compressor system. I no longer use a compressor, no longer have air pipes everywhere. I did build this box. I can get rid of dust of dusty consoles, dusty MacBooks, things like this. It's just a hoover at the top, which connects with a pipe to the side of this box. The air intake goes through where you put your arms in. And uh, I just use the Hydrain to basically clean out, clean out dust. And it's excellent. It works brilliantly between that and this Milwaukee. It, gets the job done. It's far superior than having a whole compressor system just for repairs. The main difference here with this hydrain, and I do, I do want to point out something uh, with this that might be a good idea for hydrain and uh, the company. This is a replaceable battery pack. Uh, this is like, you know, kind of like with the Milwaukee, right? You got their battery system. So you got these different heads and then you have different size batteries that fits in any of their gear pretty much uh, with the M12 or M18 and uh, they kind of have a similar system here with the Hydrain. And uh, you can just clip it in with a new battery pack. Now what I want to see them do, ideally, you know, I, I would love to see it because it's such a good system, is that they might, you know, consider uh, having like different replacement heads, including perhaps a screwdriver, so I don't have to, you know, use this heavy thing, although this works well. Uh, it would be nice to have a really powerful screwdriver um, that can use their battery system because their battery system is excellent. I, I, I'll tell you why. So their battery system, first of all, it's got, a lot of, it's got a lot of power, of course, but also their battery system charges via USB-C PD. So it's, you can charge it from a MacBook charger like this here. So whereas previously that didn't work. The reason why is because it uses an old uh, USB-C protocol. If you look at the old hydrant here, right? Oops, here's a torch. If you look at the whole old hydrant here, it's got a USB-C as well, but uh, it only charges with the A to C and not C to C. So the other thing it does, which will probably blow your mind, this is actually a battery bank. I don't know if Hydrain knows that, but because of the way that the USB-C uh, charging systems work, in a lot of cases, with a large battery bank like this, uh, it can also output a lot of uh, power. In fact, let me demonstrate this now. my iPhone let me wait for it to okay there we go it's almost 100% anyway but you can see here it's charging and I did test it it charges at full speed as fast as from the plug so this is a very good power bank you can literally take this um, as a standalone thing if you're out of juice and you can just charge your phone with it charge whatever USB-C item you have with it or what use USB-C on the other end and uh, yeah it's good to go like it's very fast it's genuinely a good battery bank in itself uh, it's funny because I didn't expect to be talking about this being a battery bank. Um, it is also a good torch. I use this to test, let's say, MacBook screens with no backlight. I use this to test all the time. So I have a torch right here. Uh, it's bright enough to see the screen. It's uh, fairly bright for such a small lamp. Uh, or cooling down the board, for example. I use it all the time. There's a PS5 board, for example. You know, cooling down the board slowly uh, just to make it, you know, just so it doesn't, you know, stay hot for so long after soldering to it. You know, I use this for that all the time and I use it on low and it's fast enough. It's way more powerful than you need to be. It's great. The gestures are different, right? On this one, and, I, and I, when I first wanted to do this review, I was going to say that this system of just pulling the button and it goes is better. However, it is only a matter of getting used to it because actually now I'm much more used to this thing. Uh, you press and hold, because this has many gestures, right? If you press once or you double press, it's one setting, I don't know exactly which one it is, and there's one above that, and then when you press and hold, it's full blast, this one, right? So there's many things to remember. It's the same with the torch. You press it, 
and then you press it again and it does like an SOS light and you, you know, you kind of have to remember this, but this is very simple. This, you just press it on, it already sounds a bit different, and then you adjust the power of the... And you can already see, things are starting to lift off. It is very powerful. One of the specific attachments, this one, that comes with it. And by the way, there's a lot more in the box. One of the specific attachments that comes with it, this one, I test them all. This one gives the most pressure. So you can see here. You can see it, like it genuinely pushes a lot. It's more, more concentrated on a single point with this attachment. And uh, even with this attachment on this one, and there was a rubber part, but it didn't, it didn't output that much with the rubber parts. So I took the rubber parts off this one. It does as well, but it's, it's more spread out. Um, and so it's not as concentrated, right? This has also caught a lot of dust going in. This less so. Uh, in, the, in the box that I showed earlier, there's dust swirling around until the hoover sucks it up, right? And so it sometimes goes wild. This catches a lot of it. Like you can see, it's, sometimes you have to peel it off, you know? It also comes with this nice sleeve, so you got good grip on it. And yeah, this is, this is an excellent system, it really is. So it charges with a MacBook charger, no problem at all. And it can charge your iPhone as well. It, it, it literally acts as another battery bank in your arsenal, so, and for, for me, for me, number one, for me, the gestures, the gestures of this one is much simpler. All you have to do is press a button and then choose your power mode, right? So that's all you have to do. On this one, you know, you can press and hold for full blast, but you might not always need full blast. So, and then you double tap or something, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. There you go. That's, there's got like three stages to it. So, you know, the 3.0 is much better at this. So, yeah. Anyway, if, you, if you're interested in it, the link is in the description. So, yeah, go get it. I think they're running uh, special offers right now because it's still a new product. And uh, you can't go wrong with this. I know there's many, 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 many Chinese copies out there. But trust me with this. This is totally worth it if you're in the repair industry and if you're construction work. I heard that some people use it for their classic cars to blast off dust off their, you know, sensitive paints and stuff without washing it first. So, or drying the car after washing it and things like this is great. It's so fantastic. So yeah, I really recommend it and uh, see you in the next one.